Everybody and welcome back to Team Newcon Outdoors. I'm Andrew Pearson. I'm Sam Moore. Brian Ralpez and Jake Gray. Well, uh, this weekend we all kind of split off and did our own thing. I went to the cabin. Jake, you went back home. Rello stayed in Bemidji, and you went out to South Dakota. So we were all kind of split up this weekend. Uh, you know, me and Jake had a nice weekend with the families. Didn't do all that much hunting, but we came back up Tuesday morning. And Jake, you uh, you went out in the deer stand Tuesday morning. Yeah, you know, uh, pick up where we left off when I got back, and uh, you know, it was it was a tough day for deer hunting, but still a fun day in stand. Why don't you take a look? Well, it's uh, the 23rd of October, and we are out on stand right now. It's been raining all night. We we're hoping the deer might come out. Uh, once we are out here, it was a little worse than I thought, but we'll see. Well, the deer hunting didn't go exactly how we'd liked, but you know, that didn't get us discouraged. We, uh, we had a little scout job in there too. Absolutely. You know, you can't always have those perfect days in stand, but you know, when it's not going your way, we found the bright side. We did a little one of those scout jobs while we were hunting and you saw a Kai out there out in the field. So, uh, we got some nice moon phases coming up for us next during the night. And so we're going to go try and maybe kill a coyote and finish off, finish off the Bemidji triple play. Perfect. We saw some deer. Hopefully they'll start coming out now. I think uh, the morning's starting to kind of calm down. It's starting to get better for deer hunting. So we're going to stick it out and uh, hopefully get one in close.
was great to spend a little time in the deer stand, but Sam, you did out and got a little different hunting that we've been used to so far this year. You went out to South Dakota for pheasant opener, and you know, you had yourself a fun hunt. That's right. I had the chance to go out to South Dakota again this year. It's something I've been doing since, uh, I think, about 11 years old. And uh, as you may, may or may not know, you can't start hunting roosters in South Dakota until uh, noon. So I took the advantage of uh, shooting myself some fox squirrels in the morning, which was turned out to be a blast, to be honest. Uh, it was a very good time. It was challenging, it was fun, uh, and very rewarding. Why don't you take a look? Well, Sam, I'm, I'm a little jealous you got to go out to South Dakota and pheasant hunt. I love to get out there and go pheasant hunting. Hopefully I'll get to over winter break again. But uh, it looks like you had a great time. You know, I did have a good time. And uh, I think we ended up shooting uh, just one shy of our limit on uh, opening day. Um, I think 14 second day and uh, I think just under 10 the third day. So it was, uh, it was a fun trip. It was a safe trip. No one got hurt. And uh, we all did very well and we all had a good time. Well, uh, it was nice for all the boys, us here, to uh, get out and shoot some different animals this weekend. I mean, Sammy shot some pheasants and some squirrels. You guys saw some coyotes and some deer, and it was really fun. Absolutely, it was. You know, we uh, we try and get out after a couple different animals, and, you know, we're going to continue doing that and hopefully hopefully get a coyote here in the next week. Jake's going to sit some more stand, I know. Maybe you guys get out some ducks and stuff like you usually do. And, you know, we're going to keep rolling here at Team Yukon. That's right. That's, uh, you know, what, what we can do for... Uh you know, what's available for the species, the time of the year, that kind of thing. We're just going to keep doing and doing our thing. Absolutely. Well, for Team Yukon Outdoors, I'm Andrew Pearson. I'm Sam Moore. Brent Relopez. And Jake Gray, keeping the tradition going.